yeah, you know, I mean, sometimes life just really isn't that great. But then there's people that don't even know where the next meal is coming from. What did they do to deserve that life? But I get it. You're going through a hard time. Let's talk about it. I mean, your friends aren't even your true friends because they're only your friends because you have something to offer them. They're not actually your true friends in a way that you can count on them even in the hard times. They're just not that kind of people and you feel used. But then again, I mean, that's just life. We only get out of it what we never expect. And you know, there's nothing I can really tell you that's gonna soften the blow, but sometimes life just really sucks. It's just the way it is. But I mean, that's okay. It passes with time. And the more that we expect out of life, the more life disappoints us. I feel like the more that we look at our own problems, the more we feel bad for ourselves. If we were to help somebody with their problems, then that would take the eyes off of us and put it onto them. And maybe that would do some good for us because it's easy to meet our own expectations, but it's hard to get somebody else to meet our expectations that we have for them. And so if we do that, we're gonna be let down. But let's think about that a little bit. How can we make that a good thing for us? Because it's so hard to get somebody else to meet our expectations, maybe we can help ourselves and put expectations on ourselves to help other people. That would really make somebody's day and get our minds off of ourselves. So let's think outside of the bubble of despair for a second, outside of our normal minds. What's a way that you think you could maybe help somebody? I mean, we live in a society with tons of needs. I'm sure there's a homeless shelter near you, or maybe there's an old lady that you know. I'm sure that she would love to talk to you. Well, if you listen, I know that, that would probably make her day. I know that old ladies love to talk and they're always needing somebody to just listen. That would really make her day. Maybe his day if it's an old man. And why do I keep saying get your mind off yourself? Well, I guess it's because if we stay in our own heads, if we continue thinking about ourselves, then the problems just keep accumulating and they just keep getting worse and worse. But if we try to help other people, then we can see them and their problems, like for instance, the homeless people at the homeless shelter that you're gonna go help out at. Those people have a lot worse problems than you do. And by you helping them, that would really just help you to count your blessings. Like this beautiful sunset, for example. Isn't that wonderful? But it's getting a little dark. Let me turn up my eyes so a little bit. Whoa. That's a little too much, okay. So when we help people, we get our mind off of ourselves, but it has many more benefits than that. Because when we help people, we oftentimes uh, think about uh, the result and things like that. But if we do things in a way that we can think about loving them, then that really brings a supernatural joy that doesn't come from us because we're doing it out of love, not worrying about the results. And so then when the results don't come, it's not the end of our world. We don't think, oh, it was all a waste. But it was actually rewarding because we succeeded in loving that person and trying to bless them with our time and our effort. And I understand that there's probably a lot more going on in your life than I, than I know about you. But at the same time, doing little things like this really gets the focus off of us and our little problems and um, when we help somebody else with their problems. And that's just an amazing thing. And you know, life really doesn't have to be as hard as you make it because we're all fighting for something, whether we're fighting to find our purpose or if we're fighting for our purpose, we're all fighting for something. So let's make that fight worthwhile. I'm just an ordinary guy. My name is David Bassett. I have this channel on YouTube. And if you're watching this video, you can subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section and be sure to hit that bell because you'll know when I get that next video uploaded. And even though I'm just an ordinary guy, I really love your comments and I want to make this a community of people just like you and that we can grow together in our relationship with Christ. Fly by faith and I'll see you on the next one.